Hey guys, here is the video you guys asked for Yosemite multi beast installation guide. So, show you guys um, Yosemite 10.10 .10 multi beast uh, driver uh, installation guide and uh, basically creating a profile for your hack and touch. So, first thing we'll need to do go to Tony Mac. Thanks to Tony Mac X86 for their beautiful installation guide uh, for our hack and touch and uh, now if you follow all you know if you follow the guide from Tony Max x86 it should be like you know really really easy it should be really really easy but it's all depend on what hardware you guys have you know you cannot just take any old PC uh, Dell PC or HP PC and try to um, install hack and touch yeah maybe you will get a success out of it but not everything will work properly the proper way to uh, build the hack and touch is getting the proper parts uh, that Tony Mac x86 uh, the buyer guide have uh, as you can see here so you can choose choose any parts from here pick what recommended now Yes, you can use other parts um, other than out of Tony Mac X86, but these parts are recommended to use. So that's mean that someone already tested these parts and they work properly. That's why they listed it here. So yeah, guys, you know, just you know, don't go crazy. You know, if you're building a hack and touch, go to Tony Mac, uh, buy the parts they are recommending. You know, buy the motherboard they are recommending, RAM, you know, processor. Um, hard drive and SSD you can get away with any hard drive SSD the case you can buy any case whatever even the power supply the main thing what we need to focus on is the motherboard uh, sometimes you have RAM and the processor are the most important thing when you're building a hack and touch okay so let's skip that and, uh, and go to um, multi base right so first thing what you need to do after you finish installing your um, hack and touch and now you basically booting from your USB so what you want to do you want to create a you know create a Yosemite boot profile uh, you know so basically with kernel and everything you have to install everything so what I'm going to show you here today how to create a profile right you know a stable profile okay so first thing you need to download the multi beast Yosemite 7.0.1 and after you install after you finish installing your hack and touch in your computer that's when you do this multi beast not before okay so remember that okay after you install if you cancel that come back here now the DSDT free is for newer uh, motherboard so you know you go with that that's what I have um, I'm using a Z87 D3 HP motherboard and uh, my motherboard is not recommended by Tony Mac X86 but I'm all, I also tried on a Z87 HD3 motherboard and that recommended by Tony Mac so first thing you need to come in DS, DSD T3 go to driver now choose the driver now if you have gigabyte motherboard uh, like the Z87 series most of the time the uh, audio driver is ALC892 and then disk driver uh, disk uh, make sure you choose a uh, third party SATA and for SSD you know make sure you choose the trim patch you know, that's really help if you want to you know pull the real speed out of your SSD so, yeah. The graphic, um, the most of the time, you know, we're uh, most of the time we're using a graphic uh, graphic card. I don't really use it. Even I use the the Intel graphic forty six hundred from my Core i five. I didn't need to click that, so you don't have to check that. Make sure here you can only choose uh, if you. I I don't choose nothing else because I don't need nothing else. So I just choose the USB three point universal network like I said for Z80 gigabyte Z87 motherboard most of the time the um, you know real tech will be this driver right here and system you don't have to do nothing here bootloader make sure you choose this 
camera on. Okay. And now, here in the boot option, make sure you choose 1080p display mode. Uh, if you want the menu when the computer boot up and give you an option, uh, would you know what you should choose either the window, Mac, whatever. So if you don't want, you just want direct boot to your Mac. Don't choose that. But I choose that because I have a uh, dual window and Mac. Next um, here. Now everyone they choose the three uh, Mac Pro three you know three one, but me. I have Mac Pro 6.1 that's what I choose because I don't know for some reason I feel like it works better because I'm using a uh, Core i7 4790K and I think that's my best match and it works great so you know, I stick with that but if you guys have any gigabyte motherboard or anything go with that okay that will that will be easier you know don't, don't follow me just go go with don't go with anything here if you have core i5 core i3 processor go with the mac pro 3 one don't go with anything else okay now you could choose anyone from here this is basically your boot team team so when you boot up and uh, it give you the menu of uh, the option whether you want to boot in window or mac so this is the theme i choose this one because they have a, like a little mac load uh, so i don't know i like that default look now you come here okay as you can see all this now before you do all uh, install all this it's not gonna work if you don't go to your uh, menu system preference security and make sure you choose install from anywhere now how you do that click that put your password unlock check that Lock it back, close, and then you can install. I agree. Okay, I already have this installed in my system, so I don't need to. But if you want, you just put your password, install, and uh, that should be done. And after the reboot, and everything should be working and fine. So, this is what I use, guys. You know, if you follow this configuration, it will definitely work for you. This is my multi uh Yosemite 10.10 .10, uh, configuration and uh, you basically configuring a multi uh you basically creating a profile uh, with this profile when the system boot up system will know what system it is and everything and it will just boot by itself up so you don't get any error or anything if you guys like my video please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys want me to make any future uh, video on something else on uh, hack and touch please leave the comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys and thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of cool contents and stuff I'm building PC gaming PC hack and touch build and you know all the cool stuff peace guys